guys welcome or welcome back to another video here on the still soul <laughs> mental health awareness channel i'm hoping i hear that carrot in the background anyway so on this channel we're all about mental health awareness mental health education mental health support and everything in between as much as we are able to pack in this space so Today, I wanted to just do a quick video on why we downplay our mental health struggles or mental health issues. And it's something that I know is very typical in our society. Persons don't usually um, address mental health issues until it's too late. Um, and let me not say too late, until it gets really bad. So rather than addressing an issue when you know you can easily deal with it um sometimes based on the fact that you know we don't take it seriously or we're not aware or whatever we kind of wake things out until it gets to a point where we need like intense care right so i kind of already give away what I want to talk about just by saying what I just said. But anyway, so I'm going to talk about three reasons I believe that we don't play mental health issues. Um, I have six here, but I'm going to do three now and three at a later date. Because again, I don't want this bit to be too, too long. Yeah. So let's just get into it. Yeah? Cool. So the first reason again have a notebook here so y'all know the drill hopefully so the first reason i think is that we don't necessarily believe what we're feeling is that serious and as i mentioned before this is actually pretty common we are experiencing maybe some like a whole bunch of stress symptoms we are experiencing symptoms of anxiety we are having you know challenges like like negative thoughts or you know um intrusive thoughts that really don't sit well or sit right with us but because we're not aware of the, the seriousness of mental health difficulties or mental health challenges, we don't pay attention to it. And we may not believe that what we're feeling is serious for a number of reasons. Ignorance. Again, you're not aware of, okay, when I'm experiencing this thing, it can be an indicator of this mental health issue. Or if I'm experiencing these different symptoms of anxiety all at once i should pay attention to it same thing for depression or any other thing we're ignorant of the fact that one we need to pay attention and two we there's actually something going on when we are experiencing like certain um symptoms or signs another thing is that we are so used to pushing ourselves that we disregard our limitations and we're part of a culture that is really um, intense or really really promotes the whole going beyond your limits and whatever and that's good to an extent so you're not going to give yourself mediocre you're not going to sell yourself short. However, you want to be aware that you aren't um, stressing out yourself. You aren't um, making yourself sick mentally and physically. You know what I mean? Um, and also, others around us don't take it seriously. And so we adopt that belief or we adopt that uh, practice. And that leads me to like two and three. All these points I'm sharing, they're all connected. So my second reason why we don't, or why we don't play our mental health struggles, we don't recognize our own signs and symptoms. Cool? Again, 
there's no awareness there's no information there's no um education or information about what it is that we need to look out for in the case of like particular mental health struggles so you're not you don't know what you're looking out for you're experiencing these these different symptoms and signs and you know you wonder why this happened to you and what this could have mean but because you don't necessarily have the information to say okay if i'm experiencing heart palpitations um if i'm having racing thoughts if i am um you know feeling extra irritable more than usual it can probably be a sign of anxiety or oh if i feel like i can't you know do regular activities i can barely come out of bed um i cry easily it can you know be um the starting point of like a depressive episode so we don't know we don't have all that information so we kind of experiencing these different signs and symptoms sometimes they're isolated too but we don't make the connection that oh is a mental health issue and i need to deal with it right um again another reason um we are or the influences in our culture, the influences around us, they don't take mental health issues seriously. So the influences can be our family members. You're probably in a family that not really too aware of the mental health um, issues thing. They don't really know much about mental health issues or you know what to look out for and how to address certain things or it may not be a priority and i think that's the truth for like a lot of us like mental health issues in our families is not a priority it's not something that we address right um your friends your peers they, you may you may have friends who when they think about persons who have mental health issues they think about the man man on the road or you know people who crazy or whatever and they kind of mock it and you know make light of it and so you don't want to necessarily be associated with the thing that you know your peers ridicule um people in authority maybe you know if you're a student and you go to like a teacher and you want to let them know that you know i'm dealing with xyz and they may brush you off you may not feel encouraged to talk about what is that you're dealing with anymore because if the persons who are above you don't take it seriously you know and of course there's the cultural aspect of it you know you may be in a culture and this is true for a lot of us if you're in jamaica our culture is just getting around to i think our culture is just getting around to kind of understanding the gravity of the situation that is mental health issues but there are other cultures that even to this day it is not a thing persons don't pay attention to it persons don't regard it as important and so all these different influences can really play into why we don't play our mental health issues and that's a very dangerous thing, you know, because a lot of times some mental health issues can be dealt with in like early stages before it gets to a point where you need like inpatient care or medication or, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, these are just three points. I have three more, but I didn't want to make this video too, too long um let me know what have been some of the things that have caused you to probably don't play a mental health issue that you've had and if you got to a point where you actually addressed it what changed thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video um i'll come back again with a brand new one and i'm looking forward to sharing more with you take care